guys, welcome back to the channel. It is an absolutely gorgeous day outside of the Jupiter Inlet. We're so happy to be out here. We're around 60 feet of water. We're gonna try to go after some mutton first thing. Um, it's about, what, 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning at this point, honey? Yep. And um, Chris's voice is a little, not. he's not feeling so hot. So uh, I'm gonna be doing most of the talking during the video today. Yeah, sure getting over you, a cold. Yeah, exactly. Make sure that you guys uh, give this a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you subscribe and let's get on some fish rough out here guys so we're gonna try to land a few fish before we head in before we have to head in let's see what we got here coming up i see some color not a big guy but oh it's a snapper i think that's a, is that a baby mutton yeah. oh really baby mutton Little guy. Gotcha. Gotcha red-handed sucker. <laughs> Here he comes. We might need to make a move if we're on a big pile of babies, though. It'd be nice if it was a yellowtail, but it's just mutton after mutton after mutton. Getting peckaroos again. Gotcha. This is a little bigger. Doesn't feel like a mutt though. Fight, fight. A trigger. He's just got something. Fighting fight, like, like a trigger. Fight, fight, trigger Looks uh, muttony to me. Yeah, so another undersized mutt. Boy, you fought harder than the other three. You are really red. Wow. Really red. Some of them are a little bit more faded than others, but he's got pretty color. You guys want... Yeah, they are feeding heavy down there. Those bellies are big. Big belly baby. Go down back down there and get fat. Fatter and longer. Yep. Yep, got a fish on. Can't wait. Fish on. Feels decent. What are you? You quit swimming. This is a mutt. Yep. Mutton country. Nice solid uh, mouth hook though. He's bigger. A little bit bigger. Man, I wish these were yellow tail. That'd be great. Ugh, solid bite. Good Fish one. on. Yep. Look at that. Look at this pole, guys. Not does not want to come up. Not a huge fish, but definitely a fun fish. See what we got. What do you think it is, honey? Mutton. You see color down there? See. Mutton? No. Oh! That's a big porgy. It's a porgy. Eat this that. is dinner tonight, guys. That's dinner. Fish on. Oh, that, Ooh, was a nice that was a good bite. That was a nice bite. This is so big, though. I want a big one. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Good. 
What do we got? Oh man! Oh, another undersized button. They're getting bigger though. Getting I have bigger. hope. Dang, he, 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 he hit that hard. I was hoping it was double that size. That's all we need. Getting bites. Yep. Oh, there you Doug. go. Doesn't feel big, but it's definitely a fighter. It's definitely fighting you, yeah. Play him a little bit. Come on, baby. What do you think it is? Uh, you Anybody? always ask me that. I don't know. Uh, porky. Yeah, it looks like another big porgy. Yep. Oh. Yeah, you played him a little bit. Shark porgy. You played him, and there's your oh, shark there's right there. There's your friend. No, that's a cuda. That's oh, a cuda. Yep. Poor guy. You got cuda. Oh man. Oh yeah. Cuda, baby. He got you. We can still keep it. He got keep you. Him. We can still uh, salvage some of that. Oh yeah. That I don't think we should waste him. No. He's he's there's definitely still one fully yeah left. yeah. Mr. Kuda, you don't get the rest. Good one? Oh yeah, you better get it in quick this time. <laughs> I'm trying. It's not as big as the last one, but I'm gonna keep it away from the Kuda. Let's see if we got a chaser. Oh. That's a mutton. Yeah, that's a hundred. Well, that's alright. Save him from Kuda man. Uh-huh. I'm lucky he swallowed it though. Mm -hmm. I think there's a fish on this. Yeah, there's a, there's something on here. There's a fish. There's a fish? Yeah. There's something. Or a rock. There's something on there though for sure. Fish. fish. A grouper. Oh, yeah, a mine was a grouper too. That was the red grouper. Classic grouper running cut. Yep. Little girl. Yours, I think, was a lot bigger. Bigger, but he ran. But we can't keep him anyway. Nope. Up, up yeah, out of season and short. So. Is it May? Back you go. May. Yeah, that's correct. That's why it was swimming under the boat like that, though. Yep. There's a grouper on it. Oh, there you go. That looks like a nice one. No. Oh. My bad. Baby. Looked like the pole was doubled over pretty good for a minute there. Nah, I just don't like the circle hook that you put on there. Well, I caught you a like porgy it. in your... Ooh, a nice porgy. Fish on? Yep. Porgy-ish. We need a muttonish. Yeah. Okay. Definitely porgy-ish. Porgy -ish. Very small porg. Little little salt and pepper porgy. I haven't caught a salt and pepper porgy in a little while. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I told you I was gonna get you. <laughs> Thought I was gonna outsmart me. <laughs> Woo! Don't wanna come up. Don't be shy now. Don't be shy now. Don't be shy. Woo! Don't be shy. I don't think it's a keeper, but it's bigger. It's my biggest mutton today. A little bit under. What is that, like a 14? Something like that, 14? Do you have your pliers? There's the blue ones right over there. You can have mine.
big fish? There's a fish. Oh, there you go. Get it in. No, no, you're fine. Get it in. You're doing great. There you go. Bump and wind. Bump and wind. Put my pole over here. Okay. Doing great. Bring it on up. Now nah, that's not mama shaking the boat, that's the waves. I see color. Go ahead. You're almost stuck. Keep coming, keep coming. What do we got? Big big red grouper, yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. No no, don't give up yet. She's gorgeous. That's a pretty one. That is a pretty one. Would be a keeper. That's a pretty one. Uh close. That's a pretty one. Beautiful. Yep. I know you got some teeth, so I gotta be careful. They don't fight like that though. Grouper fight like crazy. Man, our mouths are huge. Yeah. Wow. Like a big old bass. Beautiful. Like a Different big old mouth? bass. Yes, I do. You want to take it? Yeah. How do I hold her? Uh, under her gills like that. Like that? Yeah, that's fine. She's not keeper, is she? No, it's close. Close. Still pretty. So if you haven't guessed it by now, April Fool's <laughs> fish chili. Oh, no. Um, that does not sound good at all. It was, this is regular uh, ground beef chili. Um, and I actually did win a office competition chili cook-off with it. Um, so it's got a trophy behind it. It's it's uh, it's vetted. Um, so if you want to make this, all the ingredients are going to be right here in the video. It's super duper easy and really fast. Uh, you know, basically just needs to simmer for a couple hours, but like 20 minutes of prep. So anyway, we'll get right to it and let's make some chili. All right, guys, so we've got a pan that's heated up. I've got that on about medium heat. So we're going to put in some oil in there. And then I've got four and a half pounds of ground beef. So we're going to brown that first. And so as you can see, four and a half pounds. I like the 93.7 for this. Alicia likes really meaty chili. So you can do anywhere between two to four pounds. Um, but we, really, well, we like it really meaty. And, and I'm going to make a nice big batch because we're going to eat it for a couple of days. So it's been cold <laughs> in Florida for us. It's cold in the 50s. And uh, so yeah, chili sounds good. So we're going to get this oil heated up and we'll put the meat right in. All right, so what I like to do is just add a little bit of garlic salt to the meat first. So we're just going to put a little bit of garlic salt on the meat that we're going to throw right in the pan. And then this whole thing, just right on in. So there we go. And we're going to brown this up. I like to spread it around a little bit. We're going to brown this up. And then we're going to strain it. And then we'll cook our veggies. So we just add a little bit of more garlic salt to the meat there. And we'll let this brown, and uh, once it's browned, we'll take it off and strain it. All right, our beef is nice and brown here, so what we're going to do is we're going to pour this into a strainer right here. I have. So what we want to do is just strain that meat out. This is not easy to do while filming, so I apologize. And you guys are probably all fogged out. Actually, this is... Oh, there we go. That's so much better. Okay, so tough to do with this big old giant chili pan that I've got, but I like to just kind of do this as a one pan deal and then saves the kids from having to do dishes. All right, so now we made a little bit of a mess, but we'll clean that up later. So we've got our meat. It's going to strain. And then what we have is our vegetable medley. So we've got chopped onion, chopped bell pepper, two bell peppers, one whole onion, and probably four four stalks of celery and uh, we're going to add just a little bit more oil so it doesn't stick right in the bottom of that pan there and then we're going to throw this medley right on in there we go and mix that up and we're just going to soften up these veggies a little bit and then we're going to add the meat right back into them 
And uh, once we do that, then we're pretty much adding just our beans and our sauce. And this is done. So this is a super simple recipe. And like I said, award-winning chili, if I do say most so myself. Uh, of course, it was just an office party award, but hey, it's got an award behind it. So um, it's really good. It's one pot. I know it's not fish, but figured I'd throw it in there if you guys wanted to uh, see how we make our chili. This is a staple for us. We absolutely love chili, and uh, we make this probably once every two weeks or so, and uh, good in the fridge for a couple of days afterwards, so we make a nice big pot of it. All right, guys, so our vegetables are nice and softened up here. Getting a little bit of caramelization going on these onions, so that is perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and dump our strained meat right back on in there. We are going to reduce down to, I go down, down to about two, and then we're gonna start adding in all our ingredients. So basically, this is our ingredient list. I'll take my hat helmet off here. So we're gonna start off with contadina sauce, one jar. Then I do two jars of chili fixins. And normally I do, oh, there it is, Never mind. I was gonna say one jar, one big jar of Rotel. Okay, so, so basically three jars of Rotel, two chili fixins, one original. Then I do three of the petite diced uh, hunts, and I'm trying some fire roasted today. So we'll try the fire roasted tomatoes and see if that makes a difference. And then just basically the beans of your choice. I really like the, the black beans and the dark red, kid, dark red kidney beans. Alicia's a huge bean fan, so we put a lot of beans in and we make a lot of chili. So uh, let me go ahead and start dumping all this stuff in. Last but not least, we do the, Hor the McCormick Original Chili. You can get this in packets. Um, if you do, you're going to use two packets of this. So two packets of the original chili, and that's it. And then we just do a little bit of garlic salt at the end to taste, and uh, let this simmer for a couple hours. But let me dump all this stuff in, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like after we've added all of our tomatoes and tomato sauce. So we've got a nice chili consistency here. And then one thing I didn't mention was I do all those cans and then I, I add them to that same strainer and then that way that strains all the juice out of those cans and we can just add our beans straight in. But first, I'm going to add in my seasoning. Like I said, normally two packs of the uh, chili seasoning, but since we make chili so much, I buy it in this bulk one and I just basically wing it because it tastes good anyway. So we add a nice good, probably three or four tablespoons in there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and dump these beans right on in. And as you can see, that's all the juice that comes out of that can. So quite a bit of juice. We want to strain all that juice out. And we got our black beans, our red kidney beans, our pinto beans. I even strain the one that's in the, uh, the mild chili sauce just because we don't want all of that juice in there. We're already adding juice with the tomatoes. So now all we're going to do is just stir this all up. As you can see, it's 330. And we're gonna let this simmer on low. I've got it on number two. So we'll let this simmer on low for a good two or three hours. And probably about 6.30, 7 o'clock, about perfect timing for dinner. And as you can see, I mean, this is probably a 20 minute prep. And then, you know, two or three hours to simmer and it's ready. You could do this in the crock pot if you want, does not matter. Um, I like my big chili pot that Alicia got me, so you know I always make it in my uh, in my chili pot here, and then I like it because I can cover it. So there you go, one pot meal. We used a strainer and a bowl and uh, and a cutting board to chop up all the veggies. Super simple. Figured I would throw this in there for any of you chili lovers out there. I know we uh, didn't catch fish on this one, so. It's a chilly kind of day, and like I said, it's chilly outside. So we're going to enjoy in a couple hours. We will catch you guys in the next one. Please like and subscribe if you are digging these videos. If you like the Catch and Cooks, uh, throw us a like. We really do appreciate it, and it helps us out a lot to get the, uh, the algorithm to push our videos out there. So um, again, appreciate that, guys. Hit that like button, and we'll see you on the next one.